Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to install and configure DHCP server role on Windows Server 2022. Dynamic host configuration protocol is a client server protocol that automatically assigns IP addresses to client computers in a network. DHCP also assign other IP address related information such as subnet mask, default gateway and DNS server addresses to clients in a network. When a device connects to a network, it sends a request to the DHCP server for an IP address and other information. The DHCP server then assigns an IP address and other information to the device from a pool of available addresses and configures the other network settings. A DHCP scope is a valid range of IP addresses that are available for client computers. DHCP allows the efficient use of IP addresses as it can assign temporary addresses to devices that are only connected to the network such as visitors' devices. DHCP servers can also allocate reserved IP addresses to specific devices, ensuring that they always receive the same IP address whenever they connect to the network. This is our domain controller WS2022-DC01 for msftwebcast.com domain with an IP address 172.18.72.50. The first step is to open up Server Manager so that we can start the installation process. On Server Manager window, click on Manage and select Add Rules and Features. Click Next on the Before You Begin page. Make sure Role Base of Feature Base installation is selected. Click on Next. On this page, we need to select the destination server where the DHCP server role will be installed. In this example, we will select the local Windows Server 2022. Click Next. Next, we need to select the server role we wish to install, which in this case will be the DHCP service. When we select the role, we get a pop-up asking to add features required for the DHCP server. Click on Add Features. Back on the Select Server Roles page, click on Next. On the Select Features page, just click Next because we do not require any extra features at the moment. On the DHCP Server page, we can read brief information about the DHCP Server. Click Next to continue. On the Confirmation page, we can select to automatically restart the server if required. Installing DHCP service role on Windows Server 2022 does not require a restart. Click install and the installation process will start. We will get an install progress page. It will say installation succeeded when complete. If we accidentally close the wizard before the installation finish, don't worry. We can still see the installation progress by clicking on the alert icon in the menu. Once the last step gets completed, we are all done with the DHCP server role installation. However, we still need to perform the DHCP post installation configurations like adding security groups and authorizing DHCP service to the Active Directory domain services. For that, we will need to click on Complete DHCP configuration. Once again, we will first see a welcome screen. This screen will inform us that we need to create security groups for administrators and users in order to delegate DHCP server administration. It will also say that we need to authorize the DHCP server on our Windows Server 2022. The server is also domain controller. We need to authorize the DHCP service in Active Directory. Read the description and then click on Next. In the Authorization section, specify credentials to authorize DHCP 
in Active Directory Domain Services. We can put it as default or specify manually using specify button at the second option. We have logged into the server using domain admin's credential, so we have sufficient permissions to authorize this DHCP server in our Active Directory domain. So I'm going with default selection. The username is there, I'm a septi webcast slash administrator, which we are going to use to authorize this DHCP server in Active Directory domain service. Click on commit button. The post installation configuration steps has been completed successfully. Click on close button in the summary section when the DHCP authorization completes. Click on close to close add roles and features wizard. Now we have to open the DHCP management console to configure DHCP scopes and other options. Click on tools and select a DHCP to access DHCP management console. Let me maximize it. Expand a server name which is ws2022-dc01.msftwebcast.com Click on IP version 4. Microsoft DHCP server assigns IP version 4 and IP version 6 addresses to client computers. In this video, we will only cover IP version 4 scopes. To begin the new scope wizard, right click on IP version 4 and select new scope. Click next on the introduction screen. Enter the name and description for this DHCP IP version 4 scope. Click next to continue. Specify the range of IP addresses for our DHCP pool using the start IP address and end IP address boxes. Remember, we are using 172.18.72.0/24 network in our test example. So based on that network range, I'm going to specify the start address 172.18.72.100 and the end address is going to be 172.18.72.254. Now we need to enter a CIDR length or subnet mask to configure the subnet mask for this IP addresses. Enter length 24. Once you specify IP address range and subnet mask, click on next. You can provide IP addresses you wish to preserve or exclude from leasing to DHCP clients. If you don't need to preserve, leave this empty. Click next. Define the lease duration or leave it as default. The default lease duration is 8 days. So for 8 days, the DHCP clients can use the IP address assigned by DHCP server. The DHCP server will also keep track of this lease information. Click next to continue. Check out the first option to further configure our DHCP scope and click on next. Add the default gateway address of our network if we have one. Enter 172.18.72.1 and click on add. Click next to continue. Type the domain name and DNS server of your network. Since a Windows Server 2022 is an active direct domain controller, it is set automatically. We can see the parent domain name msaptivebcast.com and the DNS server's address is 172.18.72.50 in our case. Click next. At the Win server's address if you are using it. However, we no longer use a Win server nowadays. Click Next. The last step is to activate the DHCP scope. Check the first option to activate and click on Next. Click on Finish on the next page. At this point, a DHCP server is ready to assign IP address to clients from the configured DHCP scope. Remember, if you haven't activated the DHCP scope, then your DHCP server is not able to assign the IP address. Make sure that client and the DHCP server are on the same network. Let's go to our Windows 11 VM. 
click on start menu and select settings click on network and internet click on ethernet currently i have assigned static ip address 172.18.72.61 to this windows 11 vm now we want to set this windows 11 computer to obtain an ip address automatically from our dhcp server to do so we need to click on edit under edit ip settings set ip address assignment to automatic dhcp click on save once we save the settings the client should obtain an ip address in the address range as well as a dns server address as configured on our dhcp server as we can see the client computer has obtained an ip version 4 address 172.18.72.100 from our dhcp server we can also confirm that client's ip version 4 dns server address is 172.18.72.50 as we have configured in dhcp scope the primary dns suffix name is msftwebcast.com also on the dhcp server the added device will appear under address leases let's go back to our dhcp server expand dhcp scope and click on address leases here we can see the client's IP address, which is 172.18.72.100. This is client computer's name with the primary DNS suffix win11-vm01. The lease is going to expire on this date and time. Here you can also see the MAC address of our client computer. So we have successfully configured DHCP service on our Windows Server 2022. And also in our test lab, our Windows 11 client is also getting an IP address from our DHCP server. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video on how to install and configure DHCP server role on Windows Server 2022. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.